Okay, Mr. Stevenson. Why don't we start at the beginning? Yeah, that sounds, yeah, sounds good to me. After I got out, I had to make some changes. I had to adapt. Hi, Grandma, Grandpa. It's me, Pete. Why did you feel that way? Well, it was a matter of life and death. You can't come back here. He wants me dead, doesn't he? Give me my money. If you don't, I'm gonna take your brother's hand and I'm gonna snip off a finger. And in the end, I, uh, I came out alive. <laughs> and after that, you felt like the old you? Well, not exactly. <gasps> Hey, Pete. Do I know you guys? I want you to take us to your mother. Give me $11 million. Found myself getting deeper than I was before. We have so much to talk about. But first, this is my money. And who do you turn to when you need help? Your family? Do you want to call them that? Sure, yeah. Do you feel a connection with them? Yeah, you know, I, I, I help with the family business. You know, the mail business isn't all that complicated. You gotta be able to ask yourself, is this someone I trust? I gave advice to my cousin. Pete? Get your gun and shoot through the door! I look after the grandkids sometimes, you know, family stuff. There are too many secrets in this family. If it's not weird shit with Pete, it's something else. Like what? What happened to mom and pop? And do you feel like they know the real you? I don't know who, who is the real me. Mr. Bagwell, this is gonna sound a little strange. My friend. What's his name? So what happens next? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know.